So hello, YouTube. We're gonna play a little bit of Poland today. And if you are watching on YouTube, uh, you should come follow us on the stream so you can watch it live uh, as we play and tell me how I'm playing everything wrong. But we're gonna play a little bit of Poland. I felt bad for how much we were destroying them in um, our Victoria 2 campaign. So I think, you know what? Why not play them in EU4? Um, again, like, why does this game run fine? Glitch proc ran terribly. Doesn't matter. So right now we start off with uh, 21 divisions. We are a... We're running our 0, 0, 0 but we should be getting an air relatively soon. Uh, we are currently getting 6.34 ducats. We'll cut army maintenance down a little bit. Also, we'll slightly lower the audio. Just, just, a, uh, just a hair. So we should hopefully be getting Lithuania as a uh, personal union very soon. Rival, Teutonic Order. Rival, Denmark. Rival... Bohemia? No, Bohemia likes us. No, let, let's rival Hungary. Bohemia... Honestly, you seem like you'd be decent for an alliance. We're three out of four. Does, does Lithuania count as one of the four when we puppet them? The answer is probably. You guys do like us. So let's just immediately improve relations with you. Yeah, we're rivaling each other. Is there anybody else who would want to be our friend? Burgundy actually wouldn't be... Or Brandenburg, I should say. Wouldn't be the worst in the world. We are Catholic. Um, I think a lot of our southern territory yet is Orthodox. Supply limit. Let, let's gather our forces together. We'll uh, go up to... We'll go speed 4. Speed 5 is a little bit too fast than... Um, EU4. Like, do we have any claims? We have one puppet state. Uh, Moldova starts off in... We're guaranteeing their independence. I mean, then I guess we might as well ally them at the same time. Like, what do we got to lose there? Uh, one, the Ottomans could attack them, and then we would be in a very, very sad situation. You know, Moldova? Sure, let, let's roll marry you. We'll be able to annex you in 54. So actually, it makes sense then for us to improve relations with you. And from our diplomacy, automatically improve relations with neighboring countries. Seems like that's uh, decent enough. Do I want to spend any money trying to influence this? I mean, 208 months at minimum is very expensive. Okay, and the French are now at war with the English, not a, uh, do they start off at war? I don't believe so. Bohemia, you know what? Also, the game's still a little bit too loud. But, uh, yeah, but I think we want to be friends. If no diplomats ascend. You know what? You're right. Let's call back you from Lithuania. Offer the alliance. Actually, if we look at our, um, missions... Incorporate you. We own the province. Okay, we do that. If we own Danzig. Danzig exist. Break the Rus. High income. Build to the force limit. Reclaim Prussia. Defeat the Knights. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we can do here. Enforce. I'm attack 10. So we're at attack 10. Owns core provinces up towards the north. Actually, don't start off with Warsaw, huh? Our capital's in Krakow. I mean, Tech 10's really, like, not that far off. State firearm regiments, military tech 6. Okay, but, like, we, we should, um... Lithuania. We, we should have you be our friend very soon. May 24th, we can improve relations. And I'm hoping you will soon become a puppet state. That, that's really what I want. By the way, two times orders. Do you have any allies? You have one ally in the Livonian order. I mean, it actually makes perfect sense. Actually, what we should do is recall you from uh, this guy. Because we don't need that 190 opinion until... Um, 1454. So, I mean, we have, we have quite a ways to go. Also, I didn't change the name on Twitch, did I? 
I did change the name. Oh god, I'm so good at my job. But anyways, if we're making three ducats, is there? Let's balance this out, and then hire morale armies, guys. It's gonna cost us uh one ducat a month. A little bit expensive, but honestly, yeah, it could be worse. And what are other missions? One of them is build the force limit. High income is considered 25.17. What's our force limit at? Build So basically build 8 units. Build 8 units and we get some uh, nice little bonuses there. I mean, right now you are 5, 6. You're actually, that's actually like a really bad... Um, Like a really bad ratio. So you actually, what we want to do is we want to go to Ledger. So we need to build 8 units. It costs 10 each. Okay, there we go. There's 8. Complete our mission. Let's split off 2 cavalry here. Eh, we'll do, we'll do 3. 3 and 3 seems like it makes enough sense. It will cost us a little bit of money. Uh, damn, military maintenance a little bit more. And there we go. We've built up the force limit. Expand Poland. Total development grows by at l grown by at least 50. Which means... Grown by at least 50. What is our, to what is our development right now? Our development... Is... Our development is 183. Okay. So you're 10, 10, 16. I mean, just like these five provinces would basically be enough for us to uh, do what you want to do there. How many troops do you guys have? 14, 14. I mean, our numbers are already better than yours. And we're starting to set 11. We need to at least get up to 20. Yeah, you already fabricated claims on us. I mean, I wouldn't mind an Eliza Brandenburg, but I think we're already at our, um... Yeah, we're already at 4 to 4. Not that, um, Moldova's probably gonna be, like, doing too much for us. Petition for the Red Dress. One of the local Schlatas? In Dro Drohob's, you know, name. The seven treated subject. Lose ten prestige. Six peasant revolts. I see. Yeah, let's look at our estate. I haven't even looked at that. Clergy, uh, the nobles, the burghers, and thirty percent of lands controlled by ourselves. I mean, lose. I don't want to lose prestige right now. I mean, this is in. Oh, the province we're already standing in. Okay, well, I think we can then increase military maintenance. Yeah, no, we will just uh, make Lithuania a junior partner. Okay, elect a monarchy in... Uh... That's fine. I'm sure that having Poland with an electric monarchy could absolutely not go wrong at all. Also, I thought this prop. Okay, no, you're in a different province entirely. Let's move our troops down south then. We have two. We no, we have three forts. You will definitely siege down this province, which is a shame. And we're a great power. Let's go. I'm guessing this does not consider. Yeah, this doesn't count. Yeah, and here all we need to do. We need Admetech 10, one stability, Danzig. I mean, yeah, we basically, we just need to kill the Teutonic Order and then just wait, right? At that point, also, we do need a general. 50, yeah, no, that's fine. You are garbage, but I guess you're better than nothing. Okay, let's sit back. Wait for organization to get a little bit better. I mean, the longer they stay here, I don't think it really matters too much. As long as we're not here for like an entire year, at that point maybe we would have a uh, have an issue. Okay, we've won the siege. Take back the province. Fabricate claim on. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to cost a belly against you. And you're just allied to Livonia. It's 20,000 against, well, more. So I, I don't see why we don't just attack them now. Take, let's just say these three provinces, at least Danzig and um, Marienburg. Right, like to me, to me that, make, that makes sense. And especially before they get any more alliances. Tonic Order is now long, longer instead of, uh, okay, well, that's, that's great, thank you. Um, I guess we'll go for Austria. So just means Austria shaped a little bit weird. They look like they're like way too curvy. Um, what we need to do, I mean, what I can do is, I guess I can humiliate people. But I think right now we're basically fine. Um, stop building a spy network. Because, I mean, the problems is we need, we can't even fabricate a claim on them anyways. Also, what I should do is in the diplomacy tree. No, don't release. Where is, um, yeah, you. These are the areas that I am interested in. And I'll give this area to Lithuania, too. But th th this is basically my initial claims to start off this, start off the game, right? I think that's decent enough. Your supply limit of 15, you are 25, so you might as well go like this. That'd be a little bit better for uh, our points here. Yeah, now we don't have enough land. We need 30%. I mean, right now it's fine. National tax. Okay, maybe it's not fine. Support for Ro for Roman of Moldovia. Yeah, let's send manpower to you. And then I just, I honestly, I just kill you, right? Like, I don't... I, I don't think you're a threat. I think I just murder you. Like, we just go over to uh, declare a war. We have a truce? Till 1449? Oh, Moldovia's now a march of ours. Fantastic. Thank you, Roman, for uh, helping us out. We can now integrate you in the future as well. So, okay, so we, we have a truce with you. What about Livonia? No, we also have a truce with you as well. Okay, so it shows what I know. Cut military spending, please. We don't need it. I mean, 1449 is only... I mean, it's only like two years from now. I mean, it actually, it's basically like three because it's the end of the year in uh, 49. But it's like, it's not the worst in the world. And with two little puppet states, we're, we're doing an okay job for ourselves. We are now apparently in third place. You know, and I will take that. Yeah, we don't need to improve uh, anything with you anymore. Tax efficiency, trade efficiency, you are manpower recovery speed. Like, we need more land. Yeah, don't sell the crown lands. That just seems like it's going to be bad for us. Okay, development at least 50. Also, yeah, 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 for you. Right now, we have no penalty. Feudal... Renaissance is the first thing that pops up. Renaissance, as far as I know, is hard-coded to first appear in Italy. Which, of course, is going to make Italy and, and the West in general a little bit more um, technologically advanced than we are. Or that we're going to be. But, I mean, it's going to be a better situation than when we were playing as Russia, if you remember uh, that campaign, uh, whenever, whenever it was. Like, it might have been, like, a year ago at this point, honestly. But, yeah, like, like, like we should be okay. Like, if you, remember, if you watch that Poland or Russia campaign, you know I will spend a lot of money. A lot of money to try to keep up on technology. And it'll basically, it'll, be, it'll follow a similar suit uh, here in Poland. Bohemia, they do have a disputed succession. 
You do like us. Honestly, let's improve relations with you. We have one free diplomat. Like, we're rivaling you. They don't really care about me that much. Which is understandable. Honestly, let's go to speed 5 just so we can get up to, uh... Where we need to be a little bit faster. And yeah, we can also just help the papacy, right. We have no cardinals. Will we be staying Catholic or going um, Protestant? I'm not too sure which way necessarily we're going to swing on this. That's our one. We have two merchants. One is here. I mean, yeah, no, th this seems decent enough. Like, th this seems basically what I would want to do with my merchants anyways. We're making two ducats. Army maintenance is still very expensive. I mean, I did train up a lot of units. Also, it's H, right? Yeah, we don't need to be funding these uh, forts while we're not at war. That, that, that's costing an extra ducat and a half. For no good reason whatsoever. Yeah, and you love us. But, I mean, if you're in March, that usually... That means you cannot annex them. Through, um... To the vassalization process. Yeah, give me the money. I don't care about reform desire that much. War of the Roses happened to England. That is sad news for them. Because remember, if you remember our England campaign, we completely avoided the Ro War of the Roses, which is nice for us. Queen Consort of the People. How much is on national unrest right now? Basically zero. Let's just get legitimate, uh, legitimacy. Because you're trying to siege on the capital. You are just a bunch of angry peasants. So give me the general. You are 8-3. You are 6-1. You're a better commander. Can I use your troops? Okay, so let's go fight you. We're gonna have a negative one because we're fighting in woods. We've won the war. We've won the fight. Pull our troops back. Cut financial spending at least a little bit. So we're about we're about one year off from our war. Apparently, you have, you have cores over here in uh Brandenburg, but I'm very surprised if you ever even think about pushing them. And you, you like us, right? You like us and you're allied to our allies. So it makes sense that you wouldn't want to, um, try to shake the boat too much. You know what I mean? Like, why, why would you want to go to war with your ally's ally? Better than I have the backing of Lithuania. Lithuania? They're, they're pretty good. I mean, I mean, they're okay. They have nine divisions. Nine regiments, whatever you want to call them. Like, they're, they're doing all right for themselves. Let's just put it that way. But in December of this year, our truce will expire with you, which will allow us to uh, you know, be a lot more aggressive. With both Livonia and you. Do you have any claims? You do not, but I'll feed you parts of Livonia uh, anyways. I mean, you're all Catholic. Which means that the Catholic world's probably going to be a little bit upset. Apparently you're Hussite? Have they always been Hussites? I have no idea. Or if that's like a new thing. Okay, so it's now September. I think this is an okay time for us then to boost up military spending. Venice is going to attack Byzantium. I mean, I, I can't imagine the Byzantines are going to survive that much longer. The Ottomans are uh, definitely going to want to kill them. Novgorod is at war. They're at war with Muscovy. England's ended their War of the Roses, and they're definitely going to lose the uh, war against the French. I choose the Ottomans. Do you have any claims? No. Okay, then. Then I, I don't have to worry about you for right now. You've allied yourself with Stettin. I, I don't care. I, I don't think that matters at all. Oh, you have a cl You have claims? I mean, actually, if you have territory that you have claims on, I, I wouldn't mind, uh... Oh, you have claims as well. Fantastic. 
Okay, we're gonna clear war on you for my war goal. Wakimi will say no, but I don't I don't need them to join. 37 to 18, 6 to 10. More manpower. Again, 4,000 of this 18s over here. I Do I have enough room for a, another leader? I do. Honestly, our first commander was so garbage. Oh, this guy's way better. Like, our first general is, like, so garbage. Do any of you guys have siege pips? No. I mean, it's not a major surprise. We have a 10 stack here. You're going to come up to this fort. I will come and help you out. The Renaissance has appeared in Italy. Where in Italy? If it's northern Italy, we can probably get it relatively quickly. Eh, central Italy. Is it spreading in our country at all? A little bit. What are what are the uh, requirements for, for, um, for Renaissance? Going up at 0%. Nobody nearby has Renaissance. Five European development, post-1500. So no, basically I have as good as I can get right now. At least for this 